Well, I figured I'd explain myself a little bit um, before you go ahead and watch the video. It's been a, a couple days since this event. I wound up leaving early, obviously, I got knocked out. Uh, I wound up leaving a little bit early because I was extremely tired. I wound up falling asleep on the road multiple times that night. I made it back safe. It was just like a very exhausting day. I had a, a super long week and weekend last week. I was not mentally or physically prepared for uh, Saturday night, even though I had a blast. I had an absolute blast, but once I got to a certain point, my lower back was killing me and just the whole lack of sleep thing really messes you up. <laughs> but uh, my two to three shift was not working out at all. Anything above like, I don't know, 55 to 6,000 RPM, it would just not let you in. And like you could hold the shifter there and watch the RPMs drop and then it would, it would let you in. Uh, I adjusted the shifter stuff a little bit more yesterday morning and then went out last night and it seemed to have let me in. It wasn't a no lift shift, but it was a, a good shift. Um, two, three and a higher RPMs. I haven't had really too much time to test. I've been helping a friend out with their car and doing other things around the house this week. But um, I didn't get knocked out. I didn't even get a video of me racing at all. But I got a couple clips of Michael and a couple clips of all the other fast cars before I left for the night. So enjoy that. This weekend we got autocross Saturday night. It's a nighttime event. It starts at like 11 at night. So we'll really be able to test out the Haldex and the new control arms. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I'll place pretty decently. I do the alignment, but um, it's whatever. Uh, hopefully the rear end kicks out a little bit. I'm gonna keep the tire pressure in the back a little bit higher than usual, just to see how things are. My boy Brandon actually made this track and it looks pretty intense. So stay looking out for that Monday. Um, hopefully all the shifting stuff will be figured out by then. I'll let you know what it was. And like I said, in the next couple of weeks, we got a lot of autocross and uh, I got all that suspension stuff to put in. I still need to order some white line stuff and the 034 upper dog bone, but uh, yeah. Enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. Um, there's no more racing with me, but it's still a fun video. What's up guys? Welcome. Say hi Michael. No, no. Anyway, we're here at the shop. Uh, a lot going down right now. Just got done with the dyno stuff basically. Now we're here at the shop, I'm about to check uh, plug gap, do a brake bleed, or a brake bleed, clutch bleed. I did trans fluid last night. Um, I'm having an issue shifting from two to three and the higher RPMs. So I'm thinking between the fluid and the bleed, it'll hopefully fix it, because not no lift shifting is not okay with my brain. Like my brain is so wired now to no lift shift, it's hard for me not to uh, when racing. I don't even think about it. Like. I even even if I try not to like I still then I just like fuck up the whole transition so hopefully this helps or at least fixes it we're gonna bleed it check plug gap uh, since we've been running ethanol and stuff make sure gap is still good with these risky R12s they they widen themselves pretty quickly it's probably been about 2,000 miles since I checked it last and we got a big big event tonight uh, sorry about my shirt being off it's hot we're in the garage as you can tell uh, gates open up in a couple of hours. Eliminations don't start till like 6.30. I think testing starts at five. And my class is for $1,000 cash and a $1,000 ceramic coat from a local place. I think big tires like 3,500 and a $1,000 detail as well. Most classes have like detail stuff. There's a truck class, uh, which is a true street for me and an outlaw street, small tire, big tire, and truck. So and there's five classes. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's a flashlight start, eighth mile. I think it is prepped though, so there's that, but I think my class is probably going to be the most stacked class, so it's going to be a lot going on tonight. It's going to be insane. I'm stressing out, and I barely slept. Like, I need another Red Bull already, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance here. we got some things to do on the on this Evo as well to prep for tonight, but yeah, I'll let you guys see the plugs, and I didn't bring my tripod, so I can't like just set up the camera and stuff I forgot, but holy crap. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Super excited. Hopefully get some really, really good footage for you guys tonight. Whether I win or lose in the first round, whatever. We still got the Evo here and a bunch of other friends that are coming from all over the place for tonight. Everyone's trying to win some money and have a good time. Uh, yeah. Excited and tired. <laughs> well, we've been rushing around. We did all types of things. Changed the wheels. 
tires on the Evo, the spacers, oil. He torqued down his head again. A um, bunch of other stuff. I bled my clutch. The first, you know, on-off bleed, there was a bunch of air that came out. Um, I don't know how air would ever have gotten in the system, and I'm hoping that was the cause of uh, me not being able to go from two to three and on no lift shift. I don't know. I just hope everything's good. We're about to head to the track. It's 4.30 almost. Uh, driver's meeting's at 5. And then testing starts at 6. Elimination start at 8.30. Um, I don't know how they're going to choose pairs or anything. Or if it'll be a call out on the first round. I'm not sure. But we'll see. It's going to be freaking packed. It's going to be so packed. I'm excited to see everybody. There's a lot of people coming from other towns and states. and It's going to be a crazy night crazy crazy night and I'm gonna be wound up being up for 24 hours I still got like a two hour not even a two hour like an hour and a half drive home tonight after all of this since I gotta be at work at midnight Sunday night I want to be home in my own bed and sleep for a good like 14 hours oh man I'm so bad with this sleep thing but it's worth it we're doing race car shit I'm having fun um damn I keep saying um but it's gonna be a good day it already has been I almost made 500 wheel horsepower to freaking golf in a golf. This thing is ridiculous with the new cams. And if you guys are wondering where the RX-7 went, Tony bought it. He's getting a new heart. That thing sounds ridiculous. Oh, I love it. So good. So, so good. the shirt and then uh we got michael right there he's a sponsor yeah, close yeah. to the butt <laughs> it's gonna be a really really fun event i'm very excited about it it's gonna be straight race style that's the drag strip of the guy thing so today we're gonna go over rules if you guys have questions i want to make these run as smoothly as possible we're giving away a shitload of money and a whole bunch of uh ceramic I was pretty confident about my class, and then I got people like these guys in it. God damn it. All right, so just had a driver's meeting. There was a lot of rules and things. You crack a tire, you're out. You cross lanes, you're out. Um, they're gonna bump people in based off of if you're NA, nitrous, or turbo. I will always be last, because I'm turbo. Um, what else? Flashlight start. If you want to contest it, it's 100 bucks. If you're right, then you get your 100 bucks back. Like all types of stuff and all types of people from all over the place. I think my class is pretty stacked. There's a bunch of people with slicks and this and that. Hopefully they're not really all that fast, but I guess we'll see. I'm at the short shift in the third for sure. It's about all I got. It's super hot. I'm pretty exhausted, but I'm excited. As soon as the sun goes down, it'll be about the time we start eliminations. We're about to go get in line for test runs. Um, what else I got? It's a lot of money on the line. Thousand bucks, that'd be so great. And then on top of that, you get a ceramic coating. My car needs it a lot. We'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky and someone will jump or cross the line and in my races. I just Michael's in my class, too, and there's there's no way I don't stand a chance. There's no way. So we're hoping we can call out people so we don't at least first round don't face each other. But uh, it's coin draw out of a bag. Red's right lane, green's left lane. What else? I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. Oh, water burnout only. Can't go past the line and you burn out. It's a lot of stuff. When you're doing kind of racing like this, there's so many rules and questions and shit. But all right, I'm holding this up. Let's go get in line. Crazy. I'm back here getting the GoPro set. Michael's doing his tires. You can see these two lanes right here. So you got that Hellcat and all this. This other Hellcat right here. And uh, they have just all types of, it's like all Hellcats. And there's like a CTSV, Camaro SS on slicks, and they're all, or I'm in the same class. Yeah, I'm pretty sure me and Michael are the only four cylinders. And uh, there's a R35 GTR up there. He's probably the only six cylinder. <laughs> Everything else is like blown V8s and nitrous cars. It's pretty intense. I did not realize that this street class was gonna be uh, all these. 
these cars. I mean, most of them, there's quite a bit on the street tire. I'd say it's about 50-50 street tire for for slicks, but the one guy, see my number's T15. There's a guy over there that says T44, unless he picked that number, but that could mean that there's 44 people in this class, which I expected it to be the most packed class, but I didn't expect it to be all these freaking fast cars, so. We'll see how this goes. This is just testing right now, so I might do two, three tests. I don't know how long these lines are gonna last, but we have two hours of testing before eliminations. And I'm nervous. Whew. Wish me luck. Literally just surrounded by cammed up cars and the smell of E85. It's quite nice. It's very loud. I like it. I think this GTR just broke on the track. It's not good. Not good. Yeah, they're pushing him. Damn it, that sucks. Starting down there with that nitrous yellow uh, Camaro, all the way. Oh, there's a four cylinder. There's a four cylinder. There's a four cylinder. We got all these cars. This is all my class. This is what I'm up against. It's ridiculous. That X6M is no joke either. And we have a Tesla. Damn. <laughs> Alright, has everyone got shit? Let's go. Oh, right. Let's go. <laughs> I'm in the back of the. Quit looking. Quit looking. <laughs> this event is crazy. So we drawled. Hey, what number are you? Ten. Ten. We're, I'm up with the TA. So I got the Trans Am over there. That's my first race. Uh, hopefully we can get off the line pretty good. Last time I bogged it pretty bad. My second hey, test run, but. We'll see. We will see. They dropped the light on me quick. Like, they pulled me up, stop, and then light right away. I didn't have no time to build boost, so I'm gonna have to sit on launch control as they're going like this and then inch it while I'm on launch control, like letting off the clutch, like, very lightly, so I can, like, have some boost off the line. I really need, like, a hydro e brake or just an e brake that isn't electric in general would be very, very nice for this kind of thing. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And there's 29 people, I think they said in this class. 29. Well, got knocked out my first round against Trans Am. I would have maybe had them had I been able to make that 2 3 shift, but it is bucking up my whole world. Sometime this week, one of these days, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need to like find a ride to work for a couple days or something. I need to pull out that whole shift assembly, realign everything to make sure that that's not the culprit. And if I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Talk more in this later. Michael's about up. We'll be rooting on him for the rest of the night, as always. <laughs>